Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. We're at Cotton Cove, which we finally found, and I think we're here to, like, um, help with ID or something, I think it said. So, let's uh, radio in dispatch 83 Nora 10, 1097 Cotton Cove. Radio crackles 10483 Nora 10, dispatch copies 1097 Cotton Cove. Okay, whatever that means. I have got the guide to my side, the little um, indoctrination guide thing, but I'm not going to look that out. Uh, uh, no, we don't want to do that. I have to open the door first, then get out, then close the door, uh, and put ourselves onto <laughs> fasty. <laughs> fast. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right, fast. Here we go. Uh, Good to see you, Sonny, he says. We've got a ripe one here with no ID. Is this the dude you arrested? Since you're the guy who booked him, we hope you can identify him. Okay, so I guess they're talking about Tuscelli? The two marked patrol cars with emergency lights flashing and the covered body in the clearing clouds, the natural beauty of Cotton Cove. It is actually very nice, isn't it, this little area? Um, is he is he following us? He is. Uh, right, let's look at the body. Body is covered by a blanket. Um, remove blanket, I guess? You lift the white blanket and examine the swollen body. It resembles Jason to Selly, however you can't be sure. Uh, okay, examine the body. The soggy shirt peels slowly from his chest. Above his left nipple you spot the flower tattoo which confirms your identification. Okay, so Tuscelli's dead. Okay, can we search the body at all? How can you do that? I don't know. Search his pockets. How can you, how can you do that? Okay, confirm ID then. What's confirm? ID body? You don't need to uncover any more. Oh, okay. Um, is, 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 is that it then? Talk officer? Are you going to inform dispatch? Asks Steve. All right, we'll inform dispatch then. You key the radio. Dispatch, this is 83 Nora 10. Report positive ID on body of one Jason to Selly. 108 Cotton Cove. Your radio crackles 10483 Nora 10. Dispatch copies 1022 APB Jason to Selly. Thanks, Sonny. Be advised, coroner is en route 1019 per Lieutenant Morgan. Okay, so we've got a bunch of score for that. So um, let's just call it ID to Selly. <coughs> okay, now do we hang around and wait for the coroner or do we just head off? Let's just stand here and wait for a second and see what happens, I guess. So, we, we literally seem to have discovered that Ticelli escaped from jail and now someone's killed him. So, not not the best <laughs> outcome for him, but he probably deserves it. So, I mean, do we? nothing seems to be happening. This guy is, like, following us around. Maybe we need to look some more around the scene. See, nothing that would help you. Look in the bush. Okay. Can we look in the river? Oh, are you kidding me? Get at... Oh, Jesus. Why is that a thing? <laughs> Why is that a thing? The water is nice this time of year, but swimming is deadly. Why can Steve swim in the river? Why is Steve able to walk in the river, but we're not? Come on. All right, okay. I, I wonder if we can just go back. 10-8 from scene, yeah, so I wonder if we can actually just leave. Uh, hang on, let's see if Steve's got anything else to say. Talk Steve. Thanks for your help, Sonny. Yeah, so I, gu I guess we're done here. Oh, I can't believe that... <sighs> Good old Sierra Adventure games, eh? <clears throat> right, drive. Uh, we'll set the speed back to normal. So, I mean, where do we go now? Do we just go back to the station, maybe? I'm trying to think what we were doing beforehand. I think we were on our way back to the station when we got a call about this. Yeah, we'd spoken to Sweet Cheeks, that was it. Um, and then we got a call, didn't we, telling us that that they needed us at Cotton Cove. So now we've done Cotton Cove. We got Sweet Cheeks to help us out with some info on the, the hotel they suspect is involved in the drug dealing. So I'm thinking now we just head back to the station. I'm hoping so, anyway. I'm sure they'll radio in if there's a, an issue of some sort. <laughs> but yeah, so Tuscelli's dead. Interesting. So he's obviously not, you know, well, we didn't suspect he was the, the main guy in this whole drug operation, did we? But someone clearly wasn't happy that he got arrested. Okay, and get out. 
uh, open the door, get out, close the door, and we'll go back to fast. I mean, hopefully there's no way you can die in the police station, but who knows with this game, honestly. Okay, where are we going? Are we going in here? Open the door. Oh, okay. Sonny, step on over to my desk. I have... I have devised a plan to infiltrate the gambling scene at the Hotel Delphoria, Lieutenant Morgan begins. Fine. What's the plan? Sonny, I want you to check into the hotel under the name of Jimmy Lee Bankston, he continues. Right, hang on. I'm going to write this down just in case we need to actually type this in. I'm hoping we don't, but you never know. This could be a potential soft lock. Jimmy Lee Bankston. He continues. Meet Sweet Cheeks in the Hotel Cocktail Lounge. Okay, I'm going to write that down as well cocktail lounge S signal sweet cheeks that you're ready to begin the operation by ordering a drink okay order drink <laughs> i'm writing all this down <laughs> she'll pretend to recognize you as whitey an old friend recently released from prison she'll introduce you to the bartender woody roberts whom we believe is the contract man uh, the contact man for the backroom hustle so woody roberts I mean, I'll write all this down and we probably won't need to know any of it because it will probably just automatically do it. Okay. You'll be carrying a large sum of money in marked bills, of course, and will pretend to be eager for action. Fine. Lieutenant Morgan concludes, since Laura developed your disguise, I'll let her fill you in on its details. Oh God, what's it going to be? Sonny, I've picked out a white suit for you, Laura says. And by the way, we've decided your hair must be bleached. Bleached? You walk with the aid of this special cane. Its handle is really a detachable 22 caliber Magnum Duringa. When the need arises, you will carry a voice transmitter disguised as a plain looking ballpoint pen. Oh, this is feeling really complicated. <laughs> so the cane is a gun. And also we've got a pen, which is actually a voice transmitter. Okay, we'll try and remember this. Laura adds, I picked up these supplies at the beauty shop. Take this bottle of bleach cream activator into the shower and bleach your hair. All right, we can do that. That's all I have, concludes Laura. Sweet Cheeks, do you have anything to add? In an excited voice, Sweet Cheeks says, Oh, Sonny, I'm so happy I get to work with you. Why, it almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm looking forward to spending tonight working with you at the Hotel Delphoria. She winks at you. Well, you know, we've got work to do, you know. Sweet Cheeks, says Lieutenant Morgan. Why don't you head over to the hotel? Sonny will follow shortly. Fine. <laughs> 1980s jiggle physics there. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Laura, Morgan says. That's all for now. All right, fine. Off Laura goes. Anything else to say, Morgan? Lieutenant Morgan instructs you, Sonny, after you bleach your hair and change clothes, report back to me. I have more instructions for you. Okay. So, change clothes into... Oh, okay. I wondered why we couldn't move. Sergeant Dooley, his voice cracking, interrupts the meeting. It's my regretful duty to inform you that I've just received a phone call from Jack Cobb. His daughter Kathy has just died without ever regaining consciousness. Oh no. Effective immediately, Jack is on extended family leave. Jack's taking this really hard. His brother is staying with him and he requires no visitors. I'm sure our sympathy goes out to Jack in his time of need. Oh, poor Jack. This game is definitely more serious than Space Quest, isn't it? Hatred wells up inside you. You vow revenge for Kathy's senseless death by tracking down the dope world animals responsible. Okay, fine, we can do that. Lieutenant Morgan speaks softly. Sonny, the sooner you get into the scene at the Hotel Delphoria, the sooner we can neutralise those bloodsuckers. All right, fine. 175. We're definitely getting close to the, the Big Mac score now, aren't we? So... I, I guess we don't take the radio extender if we're going undercover. Undercover? I, I don't... I don't know. Um, do, should we... Do, do we put the keys and everything back? Put key back. For now, I guess. You hang the keys on the keyboard. I mean, we can always come back and get it, right? I just get the feeling that if we've got a radio, dis like a radio extender on us and we go into the hotel, it's not going to end well for us. But then it could be one of those um, put back extender. Put away extender. Why do that? Put extender back. You return your radio extender to the recharge stand. Okay, fine. Well, 
I don't know. We might we might need that. I might take it with me and make a save. Who knows? Anyway, we need to go and get in the shower and bleach our hair, apparently. <laughs> Sonny, you should have been here an hour ago, says RJ. The boys were crawling over each other like rats on a sinking ship looking for a porthole when they found out the chief was a-coming through. Okay. What? Open locker. Uh, get the towel. Regulations require a change shower before changing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Everything goes back automatically. Fine. Uh, close locker. We've still got the bleach, yeah? Let's, let's just have a look. Yeah, hair bleach. Fine. Up we go. Uh, turn on shower. Ah, it's nothing like a nice hot shower. Okay, bleach hair. You carefully pour the bleach on your hair. Now what? Uh, rinse hair? Good idea. With great anticipation, you carefully rinse the bleach from your hair. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, at last, you'll find out if blondes really have more fun. <laughs> cool, okay. Do we need to get the bleach? Do we need to pick it up? You don't have it. Pick up bleach. Oh, okay, maybe we don't. Ah, oh, look, we look completely different. Open the locker. Uh, put away the towel. Uh, fine. Get suit. Okay, so what do we want from here? We've got the gun in the cane, right? So we probably don't need the normal gun, I would guess. But then, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I, th I think, what's the key again? That's the key to our car, right? So, I think we don't need that. Close the locker. How wonderful. 15 years of service have come to this. Wearing a pimp suit to meet a hooker. Now that's professional advancement. Wouldn't your mummy be proud? Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> Woo wee. Looky what we got here, laughs Jefferson. Oh, jeez. You've been docked one point for... Oh, my God. When did we last save? Watch out the floor, man. It's so slippery. You'll look like one of them dudes in the Russian ice folios. When did we last save? Oh, ages ago. Right, we're going to have to take the docked point because I'm not. <laughs> um, most players don't... You've just lost a point. I don't care. Right, turn off the shower. Fine. We've lost two points, but do you know what? We're, we're, we're going to go with it because this isn't like a, a max point run because it'd be physically impossible to do that anyway in my first playthrough we've probably missed loads of points so um should probably make a save actually and we'll call it uh pimp suit so we need to go back through we need to talk to morgan it's a shame we lost those points for for getting the shower but whatever it could be worse right could be a lot worse open the door head through right Come over to my desk. I have some things to discuss with you. Fine, we'll discuss these things. After you infiltrate the illegal gambling activities at the hotel, contact me. I'll send over a team of detectives to serve as your backups. Okay. This envelope contains a thousand dollar bills. A thousand dollars in marked hundred dollar bills. Okay. So we've got a thousand dollars. Use your head, Sonny, and don't forget we want Mr. Big. Okay. Just then, the office intercom squelches. Lieutenant Morgan, homicide detective Oscar Hamilton on line three. Fine. You patiently wait while Morgan grumbles on the phone. Come on, Morgan. When the conversation ends, Morgan relates Hamilton's comments on the floater found this morning at Cotton Cove. Sonny, it seems that Hoffman slash Toselli was shot execution style before he decided to take his little swim. Well, I'm not surprised about that. It looks like you're walking right into the dragon's lair at the Hotel Delphoria. Be careful, boy. Well, that's it here, Morgan says. Now go meet Sweet Cheeks and get this campaign rolling. Oh, here we go. We're, this feels like the big time. I mean, with the score up at the top, it feels like this could be potentially end game sequence. I, I don't know. Feels like this could be like the big boss, though, right? Talk to Laura. How's it hanging, big boy? Cracks Laura. Okay. <laughs> Very funny. Now, do we take the undercover police car? I'm guessing we... D hey, I thought you were supposed to go to the hotel. To I'm getting a key. You take the keys to the undercover car. All right. We should be good with that car, right? I, ho I hope so, anyway. The question is, do we... Do we get the... The thing? 
Do we? I, I, I don't feel like we get the extender. Can we look at the cane? Your custom African walnut ivory inlaid cane is a gold eagle's head concealing a 22 caliber during a pistol. All right, what was the other thing that we had? Mark's money, trick cane. Wasn't there like a way to... Wasn't there like a, a hidden... Have we got everything? Wasn't there like a hidden... Oh, where's he gone? It's, it's like disappeared. Talk, Morgan. There's no one nearby. It's just like disappeared into thin air. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're out of time. So we'll head to the hotel next time. Um, I, I feel like we should have had a bit more equipment than we've got. Laura said something about like a, an, like a little voice thing or you know what i mean anyway so we'll figure this out in the next one so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to our patrons arcades games wayne nate Tommy nerdy paul from the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge hobo numinous and coumadin and i'll see you next time